Hi everyone, welcome to Teams Career Telescope. This is a talk show which brings to light the life of a career for teenagers. And in this show, the main objective is to showcase the reality of different career options to teenagers in a simple way and help them understand what are the different careers that they can pursue in line with their passion and interest. So we are going to cover some aspects which you will not find anywhere else, even in the internet, because only professionals who are in that field have experienced them. And for that purpose, we have started this talk show where we bring in experts and professionals to talk about different careers in reality and help teenagers understand what that profession is all about and also relate if that is something they want to pursue. So stay tuned till the end. And today I'm really thrilled to invite and have with us Navesh Choudhury, who is India's number one passion animator mentor and the founder of CGI Schools, which specializes in helping youngsters acquire skills in animation and set a strong foundation to pursue a successful and passion-driven career in the field of animation. So it's really an honor to have you here, Navesh, with us. Thank and you. Thank you so much for accepting our invite um, and uh, taking this opportunity to share about animation with all our viewers and parents here. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me here so that we can work together and actually help a lot of teenagers to get an insight about this animation career. Yes, definitely. I'm sure the next uh, 45 minutes to one hour is going to be really interesting to all parents and teenagers, especially to those who are very talented in design, creativity, or looking for some career options where they can leverage their talent at the same time, enjoy doing something in the space of art, design and creativity every day. So I'm really excited to this conversation, but before getting into details, tell us a little more about yourself. Though I know about you, but I want the viewers and the parents to know. So tell us about yourself, how you got into animation and why are you so keen in this field of animation? So uh, thank you so much, first of all, for uh, giving me time to share my story. And starting off right from the beginning, just the way as we are talking for mid-career, uh, this thing, teenagers. So I'll start my story from the day when time when I was a teenager. So at that time, I was really, really good into studies till my uh, 10th standard. And later on, when I was about to get into my 11th and 12th, so by 10th, the only focus was first, if I clear, it's going to be second. If I clear, it's going to be third. So that path was actually very, very clear as a teenager that I need to go to 10th. I need to bring good marks for 10th. But what next? That was not clear. So what do I have to do? What are the career options? Or how even that career choice impacts our life, which is going to come next? That also was something which was not clear for me. And I was not even aware whether this is actually necessary to know or not. Mm -hmm. So what happened is I just thought, okay, I don't know anything. So let me check where everybody is going. So then I saw many of my friends because it was 10 years together with those friends. So I was like, if my friends are choosing this, I'll also choose science. And I was having actually no clarity about what is going to happen next. It's only because friends are joining in. I also joined science into the 11th. And then when I joined that, so then while choosing the college also, it was where my friends are going, I'll go there. So always the approach was where others are going, I'll go there. It was never what I am meant to do or what is truly something which I will enjoy. So that turned out to be and anyways I am grateful that that happened I think because of that reason I am here or else I would have been pursuing something else into some fields of education. So after that I started the 12th thing and in between the 12th something happened uh, I, I am sure that everybody might be aware of 2611 
that incident happened in Mumbai, that Taj attack. So that attack actually had a lot of influence on my family, my life, because because of that incident, that same day something happened here with the neighbors. So my mom got some psychological issue because of that incident. And as that thing happened, that was so new to me. And I was not even knowing that how we need to tackle this. And then I had to leave my studies because of lot many situations happening because of that one particular thing. So because of, uh, and then later on we came to know that it's a paranoid personality disorder. So in which the person switches yeah. the personality. But later on we felt like, okay, it's not uh, their fault also. It's something happening inside the head automatically. So, but there were so many things happening because of which I was not able to continue studies. So I was not allowed to go out. I was not allowed to read books loudly. So in that case, everything turned out to be cancelling me from studies. And then there was a point I decided I won't study anymore. But still to give myself a chance, I again did the same thing. I'll go and choose what my friends are doing. So after 12th, I again went into engineering because friends are going into engineering. And then in that midway, because it was new thing, new challenges coming up, I realized that this is not something I will be able to do it or will be able to pursue it in this, the situation which I am in currently. So then I left engineering as well. And then uh, it all started with animation. So I was having no awareness about what animation is all about. It is just that I gave a, I gave, I, I believed that this might work for me. That was the only thing. One of my friends just made me aware of this career. And I was like, let me check how it works. Because until I don't check, it, it is like something I can't judge anything without doing it. So then it was like, okay, now let me just check what animation is all about. Then I was like, wow, this is something which I can do where I don't need to worry about books, studies. I don't need to give any exams. So I was like, this is something which can help me in my current situation to achieve something, even if I'm not pursuing any education. So that is where all started. And that is how I started. And then I became an animator. I started working. I got experience of around more than eight plus years. I do switched in between. But yes, that is how the journey is. And later on, when I found my mentor, then I realized that, okay, these are the challenges which students are facing in this animation career and also the aspiring students who are not having any option. So let me be the person, be the gap filling, be the bridge between that and actually make the students aware about its career and also help the students who are actually pursuing but not getting the results out of it. So that is where it all started and that is how the CGI schools was started to help all the aspiring students become animators and learn something creative and actually become successful. Wow, that's a powerful story, I must say. And many learnings I had in your story. First is what mistakes a teenager should not do. And even today, people, or when I say people, youngsters do those mistakes. They just follow their friends, yes. get into science, engineering. Like, I have no idea, then let's get into engineering. So that is something is still prevalent. And mm -hmm. your story would be definitely a learning point to those who are thinking in that direction because they don't have clarity. Mm -hmm. The second thing is your resilience, your power to come back, which is again something we emphasize for teenagers Things are changing at a rapid pace. What they think of today may not be there five years down the line. Mm. So they should definitely have that resilience, mm. which your story is emphasizing a lot. And then the third thing is how you experimented with animation. You found that connect with it. You were able to relate to it. You enjoyed it. And then you got into it. And mm. that's what we are trying to explain to teenagers. And that's the purpose of this session as well, where they get a feel of different career options. Mm and they can pursue their passion. Mm -hmm. And finally, your mission and vision. I'm wishing you very best in your mission and your story. I'm sure many people would be able to relate to it. And I also want to emphasize one point that you mentioned. If someone is really keen on animation, 
like mm. while there are some modes of formal education there are mm. other ways as well to get into an animation career and that is what you mentioned as well that you need not have to go to formal education entrance exams and everything but still mm. you uh, acquire those skills and then you set up your career in animation so mm. in your story there are multiple messages that we could learn and i'm sure parents and teenagers also would have taken but let's get into a little more detail into the animation career mm. i want to start with something very basic which mm. typically like to help teenagers understand mm. what is animation like when we say animation can you explain that in a simple term and give some example so that viewers are able to understand and relate to it if i if i have to sum up in just one line i can sum up in one line which is like easiest to understand as we are living in this human world in this physical world whatever we are doing here interacting with people doing our things living our life if at all you get the power to create this entire world by your own that is where the role of animation comes in so as a person as an artist i can and the artist whoever learns animation can create this entire human existence into the digital form wherein we can actually make the characters look like humans talk like humans and live the same life the way we live and that is why when we watch animated movies it feels connecting because those human emotions are thought provoking like we think about how humans behave in real life in this particular situation and that same thing we implement in the animation so this is the one liner actually for animation industry that whatever we live we can actually create it by ourselves into the software with the help of technical things wow so if i have to just reiterate creating human existence in the ecosystem mm-hmm. virtually in a digital mode that's all, also things which are into our head which we cannot bring in reality in real life mm. any thing which you think about it's your imagination mm. whether if you think that how would a bottle talk what mm. if the phones have eyes mm. that all things crazy thoughts which you have you can actually bring it into life and see and create that how that bottle will talk how that phone will talk if at all the phone has eyes and mouth wow that's very interesting to hear like phone talking bottle talking and yeah that's where the animated movies also i mean showcase some of those uh, fictional characters and how they interact with each other hmm. so you want to give one example of live project that you have worked on in your career hmm. so that the teenagers are able to relate to it more in reality so in that case generally when we talk about this while sharing the project name it's more about when we when we talk about something which they know about that is where they can relate more so from that perspective i will take an example of the movie how to train your dragons because i feel this is a movie which a lot of teenagers will be aware about mm-hmm. i haven't worked on that film but there was a series on that same uh, movie which is how to train your dragon so there was a series from the same company which is dreambox mm-hmm. which was dragons mm-hmm. rescue riders so that was a series and on which i worked on as an animator and mm-hmm. we created all the dragon animations and uh, the episodes of those series so if you have to relate then i would say think about how to train your dragons as a film that mm-hmm. entire thing is animation that all the characters are actually animated they, none of them are actually real got it and i i'm sure to that example many teenagers would be able to relate to it but in that project how did you go about it what is the kind of work how like for example when you start that project dragons hmm. how did you start start conceptualizing detailing hmm. giving life to those characters hmm. so what happens in a typical animation work hmm. so in this case i will take a little more time on that if i have to explain this entire thing so it all starts with an idea mm-hmm. suppose i have an idea i'm going to think about that suppose idea is a slum dog is turning into a millionaire he becomes a millionaire that is just an idea in one line mm-hmm. then we need to build a story on that idea mm-hmm. that if he becomes a millionaire 
what happens in his life what are the challenges what situations he comes across how he tackles it that entire storyline we think about and then we write it down that is that comes the second part which is the story writing once the story is finalized then we come on to the script script means we need to jot down the dialogues that if in case this is a situation this is a person whom the character is meeting so what he is going to speak or she is going to speak what the reply will be in what tonality what will be the environment whether it's a house or jungle or what is the plot that entire planning is done and actually thought about and written it in the script format wherein we write the dialogues this is the third stage once this is done then we come on to the concept things wherein we think about okay this boy would be something like this he would have hair long hairs or he would look like this his nose would be like small ears big from those perspective and that also has a deeper psychology deep, deeper anatomy study wherein there is a particular type of face suppose if a character is is a person who is having lot of attitude mm -hmm. in in his life mm -hmm. so if we have to replicate that character in animation we will have to make sure that we also create the character with the same traits with the same facial features so mm -hmm. that people can resonate by looking at the character that this is a negative character mm -hmm. this is a positive character no he is the hero of the movie movie so we need to connect by looking at the character that mm -hmm. is how the concept thing comes in to play so then all the concepts are created about all the characters how they are going to look how is going to be the dress up and then comes actually creating a blueprint blueprint means once the characters are finalized in terms of looks then the artist need to create it in a structured format wherein we will have the actual measurements okay. so how much uh, face will be there like how big is the face where is the nose line where is the mouth where is the eye line and how far is the neck how far is the chest how big is the chest broad or short so properly measurement wise through the lines we create a blueprint and through that blueprint then comes the actual production line wherein we start with modeling like creating the model in 3d then comes the texturing texturing means to give the colors what kind of clothes whether it's a cotton or jute or what is the material if skin then what is the skin color is he having any pores or dots or what whatever it is all the colors we will finalize in texturing and shading part then comes the lighting and rigging part so lighting generally we do later on once we have to render rigging is something which is adding bones the way in real life we need to move so we need to have bones same way in 3d also if we need to animate the character we need to have bones in the character so that we can move it mm -hmm. move the character so adding the bones is the next phase then we have the lighting lighting in the sense suppose this is a room if there is no light it will be dark same way when we create the environment in the 3d software it's dark mm -hmm. there is zero light we have to put the light and do the setup okay where is the situation happening it's in jungle so what is the environment in jungle okay sunlight we need to put a sunlight how much is the intensity all those things which happen in real we need to think about and then implement in the software and create it likewise wherein we can resonate that no this is real this is actually sunny day this is actually night in the movie mm -hmm. that is the lighting part and then we animate actually lighting happens after the animation because animation have movements we then do all the movements what is the story line if i am doing some action i need to animate the character in that way all the emotions need to be conveyed the storytelling has to be done and then we get into the rendering part after animation and then lighting and then rendering so rendering is basically we have to watch the film in the theater or in the phone or in the laptop or internet mm -hmm. so we are working to create that environment in the software mm -hmm. we cannot share the software with people so to take that movie out of the software is a process of rendering so we take all the entire work into a video format actually into an image format because there is nothing called a video video is just a sequence of images played together that's it 
so that is how then we take it out then comes the picture as in we have then lot of other stuffs happen like compositing compositing has a more deeper sense of editing into that film suppose i need to adjust some sunlight i need to have more light so we can enhance that into that compositing we don't need to again go back to software and do that no. we can post process it okay. even after taking out the film and then comes all the other parts of audio editing the text and images which we put as the titles the starting and the credits and then some sound effects and also something related to effects like suppose bomb blast and these all things the uh, the effects of those things a smoke these all are done in mid phase before this compositing and it's all a mix uh, process step by step and then we do the final output that is the movie cut and this and then comes the final movie out of the software and we see that film and everything i talked about that every aspect is been taken care by different artist wow. so one person cannot do the entire pipeline and that is where every artist has a different role creating the characters different artist designing it different modeling different texturing different shading lighting is different animation different rigging is different compositing again different rendering again as a different department so every aspect which we are going through has a department got it and that was my actually a follow up question i had i think you answered it before but mm -hmm. a little more detail on that so when you when you say someone who has qualified or has skills of animation in which part of this entire end to end flow they can work on like they can choose and specialize in one of those departments mm -hmm. or uh, they they get opportunities only to work on the later part and story building is something comes from someone else mm -hmm. how what are the different options within animation now that we gave an overview of animation and you mentioned about different artists so what are the different career options in animation so entire thing which i talked about this entire thing has are all the career options okay. into animation mm -hmm. so it depends on the forte what the students is more interested in okay generally what happens in animation is if you go either to colleges or uh, institutions or uh, the normal places where people learn animation there there is a 3 year or 4 year degree course mm -hmm. in which the students actually don't have any idea how these things work just the way i shared i shared it in just 5 minutes mm. this entire thing they learn in 3 years mm. and then after that they get an option okay now you actually know practically everything mm. now you decide what is that one aspect which is more connecting to you which you feel that you can actually do that without getting bored or mm. you want to build career in that Mm -hmm. then you choose that and then you specialized for next 6 months in that one single domain from all that domains then you become an expert of that particular uh, skill and then we start the job and the career in that particular single aspect single domain got it and do they get to uh, change it later like for example they get specialized in one part of it mm -hmm. and then maybe after 3 4 years they want to move into another uh, expertise within animation mm -hmm. what is the feasibility of that yes it is possible it's all possible there is no uh, there is nothing like somebody will say why are you switching it's all our uh, desire or mm -hmm. our decision so okay. if i need to switch after 4 years suppose i am an animator i think that no i am now bored i need to actually switch into vfx Mm. so the only thing you will the person the student has to be ready is coming back to zero okay because when we switch after 4 years now we have 4 years of experience in animation as an animator mm. so definitely we have grown as a person we have grown as a skill in the animation section the salary will increase the opportunities will increase and suddenly if we switch then we need to again start with zero for for vfx okay. because that is something we haven't explored yet Mm. so we need to specialize in that again and we need to again start from zero for that domain so no. the experience will only count on the particular domain if i am an animator for 5 years i cannot take that fire experience for a modeling artist got that it. is the thing got it fine now uh, actually i i want to ask you about how a career progression would be in the field of animation like someone who has completed the qualification or the education mm -hmm. and then they're starting 
uh, as a young professional how yeah. does it grow like 10 years down the line because that's a question which many parents have like uh, how does my uh, children life would be if they continue to be in the animation field and mm. how it would be like 20 years down the line 30 years down the line would they have like uh, they would they meet their standards of success so how does a career progress in animation so first thing i want to share is if at all we think about 25 years down the line we don't know what's going to happen in 25 years mm -hmm. okay we don't even know tomorrow what's going to happen yes. so the whole stress of that 25 years is actually letting not letting us to do something or try something or experiment something it will hardly take one month we are thinking of 25 years then why can't we spend a month to explore something Mm -hmm. instead of directly seeing it as no there is no future mm -hmm. we haven't seen the future for 25 years down the line let's just start with one month why to go for 25 years start with one month if at all it does not suit you have the option to cancel it out or to do something new in one month one month is not a big time we can definitely give that for our career for our choice so that we don't regret in the future what we are talking about i did whatever i wanted to do in my life that is the reason I am not having any regrets that, oh, I did not choose this. Oh, I put, did not do this. No, I did that. And I made the decision. This is not for me. Mm. That is, but again, parents have that thought that we don't want kids to waste a lot of time. So mm. then my suggestion would be to start off with small programs of one week, 10 days, wherein they can have some hands-on experience. And that is the whole reason that I am. I have also started that, okay, let's give them a chance for 10 days or 7 days to learn something. If at all they are interested, they mm -hmm. can go for next thing. So how the career progression is in this animation, what I'll share is, this career is something, is a skill. Animation is a skill. Now, when we talk about animation, animation, if we use the word animation, then it comes, it caters to animator. Mm -hmm. If a person, an artist animates the character, that is actually animation. But mm. as a layman, we see animation as the entire industry. As a layman who does not have any idea, they see graphic design also into animation. They see video editing also into animation. So everything which is digital editing part and the manipulation thing and creation thing, they consider it as animation. Got Starting it. off with this thing, this is a skill. So if at all we are building a career on the basis of a skill so definitely there is no requirement of any certificate there is no requirement of any graduation there is no requirement of what your age is i have my youngest student who is just 11 so anywhere a teenager or even if a person having interest at the old age also they can also start learning animation because it's a skill it's not something where people will say, where are you graduated from? Nobody asks this. And this is not only in India. Abroad as well, nobody asks you a degree for animation. But people do follow degrees for some reasons. They have their own answers. Somebody wants to actually experiment with all the domains. That is fine. Again, you can go for that. But if we are very clear on achieving success so then success is not about achieving something in 10 years success is about achieving something in two years or one year right how fast you can make that happen and that is where i feel the progression for this entire career should start as soon as possible if at all you are willing to explore it so suppose generally 10th class 11th class 12th class students are the ones who are the best kids to be in this career because they are hardly below 18 once they learn if suppose they are not choosing even if they choose three year of option then still they will be only 20 mm -hmm. once they finish so by 21 they can start their career mm -hmm. they can start working and if at all they find some mentor wherein they can actually guide and do a proper consultation and understand okay this is what they are more interested in let's give them awareness of the entire pipeline and let them specialize in that one particular domain 
and that will hardly hardly cost one year max to max it will cost one year so imagine three years and imagine one year and starting the career within just one year starting to work and if i talk about the for forward career once we start definitely we can start working in india the students whatever the knowledge base the skills they build because as we are beginners anybody when i was also a beginner we cannot expect to be at the top directly we need to take one step second step third step that is how we will climb the ladder and reach the second floor so the growth is huge if i have to see it for 10 years 20 years down the line it's huge india in india animation industry is growing even faster than the it industry this is the fact in today's times but okay. just that's because something i didn't know because i was also thinking the other way that's a definitely good information for me uh, but students don't know actually they see a cartoons as cartoons they don't see okay somebody would have created that it's not happening from god <laughs> there is somebody who is creating that so if they are creating they are getting paid for that yeah and there was one thing which i would like to share is one of my friend he works in us uh, we used to be in college uh, junior college uh, same so lastly not not currently but at least 2 3 years 3 4 years down the line uh, he came to india and we met so we were just talking and he, he told me about animation thing uh, how is the salary and all i said this he said it's not bad what we are earning in us what you are getting here from the expenses that there and the expenses here we are almost matching yes so he was like why are you worrying like we are almost matching even if you have done animation it's almost matching if i am doing engineering and ms there so then i was uh, relieved that okay yes this is a good thing and when i started mentoring actually it was again a positive sign that yes that it's a good career and even if you see an interview of narendra modi he also have shared that this sector of animation and vfx and this thing is going to grow a lot in india because all the companies from outside are actually giving work and outsourcing the work to indian companies that's true that's true and you shared many messages i'm just trying to recall some of the important ones the first is you said someone who's really passionate about animation mm. they will figure out uh, any way to go in that career mm. so that's why it's very important for youngsters to get that validated if they are really interested mm. if they are really passionate about animation as a career so i want to ask one question related to that mm. what kind of teenagers you typically see based on your experience choose mm -hmm. animation as a career because it has strong correlation with design creativity and imagination mm -hmm. and in our uh, i mean mentoring program we try to understand what are the natural strengths of different teenagers some are very strong in creativity and uh, mm -hmm. imagination some are very strong with numbers some mm -hmm. are very strong with logical reason reasoning and things like that mm -hmm. so what kind of teenagers you have observed are becoming very successful in the animation field so it's all about the dedication and mm. having an art background is just a myth okay if somebody has to be in animation industry or animation career okay. there is no need as a mandatory thing that the person needs to be an artist got it it's to or she needs to have the drawing skills sketching mm. skills and this and that that is not needed because mm. that is not mandatory because here we are working on a software Mm. this is a skill and as i said all the departments in that few of them need that drawing and sketching skills mm. that comes to pre production wherein we have the concept designing we have the character designing that aspect actually needs the artist who actually knows how to draw and understands the anatomy mm. of humans animals and different things so it's not at all important that is just a myth that only an artist can actually get into animation first thing secondly uh as you said somebody are good into numbers so if at all somebody is good into numbers if they feel okay i am good into numbers i also love animation 
in animation there are few domains wherein there will be more of calculations mm -hmm. because there lot of role will be played of physics mm -hmm. just the way we have physics in real life when we animate it we need to take care of physics just the way it happens here so then that can be a plus point that i will cater to that topic okay. suppose our hairs how our hairs move how water moves how the particles move these all are the aspects into animation which needs some numbering technical things so if they have technical background then the, there is also opportunity for them in into animation as we have lot of different domains rigging is a again a little technical domain technical and problem solving both technical and problem solving solution oriented mind and a little technical mind rigging again is an option animation specifically is the highly creative aspect mm -hmm. because here we need to understand the human psychology we need mm -hmm. to understand the human anatomy as well we need to understand each and every movement how humans do that even if i'm doing this hand why am i doing that why am i doing that why my hands are here this there so all these aspects we need to think when we do the acting or we transfer the acting into the animation got it and that's that's very clear because as you said it is a skill and anyone can develop or uh, learn a skill it's mm. just that they they need to be passionate about it if they are really passionate they would be able to be dedicated towards it and learn that skill and when i talk about learning i have a question because mm. you mentioned that most part of it happens in technology mm. what is the impact of technology in animation does the technology keeps changing and therefore one has to keep learning or what is the impact because technology is impacting everything and anything that we do so how is it impacting animation so technology is going to improve every day that is going to happen as we are seeing that ai is coming in it has already started uh, influencing lot of uh, industries some in a negative aspect some lot of in the positive aspect okay mm -hmm. so technology will change technology mm -hmm. will improve it won't degrade it will improve so if it's improving that means we have better ways of doing things right if we were calculating on papers we got calculators mm -hmm. better way to do that then we got into phones we can do it wherever we want yeah now might be it is there in the smart watches as well mm -hmm. so the convenience is increasing so that means if the technology is increasing yes definitely we need to learn mm -hmm. we need to learn and be there with the technology and always think about integrating what is happening new with what we know about mm -hmm. how we can integrate that and make our work easy mm -hmm. yeah. that is the thing so the work will uh, work will be uh, what you say is is going to be easy mm -hmm. so suppose if we do animation there will be ai but it will not take the entire animation thing it will help in lot of aspects okay. to actually grow and actually increase employment as well mm -hmm. because people will new people will be needed mm -hmm. to work on that ai thing and how it's going to help how it's going to uh, do this thing entire mm. so we need to keep flowing like water that is just the nature's law as water keeps on moving we can drink the water it's fresh from the river because it's moving just the same way if we keep on growing we are going to be fresh and if we don't grow if we are stuck 5 years 10 years down the line doing the same thing repeatedly then the water stinks the way we will also stink and that is the place wherein the time comes in a career where everybody gets frustrated it's because of the stagnancy it's because they are stopped at that place and they are not interested to do something in that particular aspect in that particular domain yes and that's a very good analogy that you use i mean you chose to explain and it it is very clear and and what i want to highlight is it's not just in animation technology mm -hmm. is playing a role in everything and anything we do as i said earlier yes. be medical profession or be engineering yes. or be accountancy some of those traditional or some mm -hmm. of those new career options also evolving because of these technologies mm -hmm. so therefore 
uh, it's as you said, how we adapt to it and how we go in a flow mm -hmm. uh, is what really matters. So now I think teenagers and parents would have good clarity of animation and how, uh, what are the skills and all those things. Now, since we are, I mean, focusing on the teenagers who are really keen to explore this, mm -hmm. what would be the one or two ways which to which they can just quickly test it out, experiment for a month or for a few mm -hmm. days and mm -hmm. see if this is what they really want to pursue. So what would be your suggestion of those one or two or three things that they can try it out to see if they're really passionate about it? Hmm. So how they can start off is actually watch some videos on YouTube. There are a lot of videos on YouTube. But again, when we search something, internet is a huge market. Yeah. It's a huge thing. Yes. So it's like finding one specific fish in the entire ocean. We are going to meet a lot of fishes. So I need to be sure what I want to find. Yeah. But as a beginner, I don't know what I want to find. Yeah. I don't know which fish is, is the first, which is the second, which is the third. Yeah. So as a beginner, if we start exploring, we see a lot of things yeah. in a random format. Yeah. Everything yeah. is available. Now, this time, the generation which we are in, information is overloaded yeah something. everybody gets everything on the internet mm -hmm. but who can guarantee that is a step by step process or somebody has given the exact thing to do after this that is not shown and that again is a different thing for different audience mm -hmm. everybody is different every student is different so their personality wise they will have a different approach mm -hmm. to learn that same thing Mm -hmm. And that is where the mentor's role comes in or the person who is a, a coach or a consultant or a mentor or a counselor that comes in wherein they actually understand the student and give them the proper path which will suit them. Mm -hmm. That is not for everybody, mm -hmm. which will suit them specifically. Mm -hmm. So what they can do is first, just for starting off raw, they can search some videos on YouTube wherein how this animation is, what are the animation films. They can watch some movies and understand, wow, how it is. And be conscious about while watching the film, what is that aspect which is more connecting to them? Mm -hmm. What I feel is, suppose I watched five movies. In all five movies, I loved this thing. I loved the way the characters are, how beautiful they are. Mm. That means their association or likings are more towards creation of character. It can be in some place that I really love how they behave, how they do the acting. How can they speak like that? How can they do that expression? That means that is that student is more inclined towards animating them, mm. moving them mm -hmm. or doing that movement. Mm. This is a sign which I generally see into a beginner, okay, he is inclined to this little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can give them everything again, mm -hmm. but he will mostly choose this. 90% surety ki the person will choose that only. Mm -hmm. So we can give them, first is YouTube thing. Second, we can give them the option of some small crash courses, mm -hmm. which, is, which are going to be very cheap, not that expensive, which anybody can afford. Seven days, 10 days, which I also do seven days uh, workshop. Mm -hmm. So seven days they can attend wherein they practically understand all the aspects along with the software and they can do by themselves after that. Once they start doing after seven days, they'll be like, okay, I'm enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Then maybe take some, some little bigger course, maybe two months, three year, three months of that particular single thing, which I'm liking the most. Mm -hmm. Now recorded courses are available on mm. internet platforms wherein the mentors sell it. So we, they can buy that. Once they are sure, this is something I'm really interested in. I really want to build career in that. That is the time they can find a mentor because mentor can directly fast track. Now they have known, I want to do this. Mm. That means any mentor who has actually done that, what they want to do, they can directly help them fast track the journey. So they don't need to go for three years, four years of struggle. 
directly you learn this from me because i am an expert into this because i have an experience i know all the challenges which you are going to face mm -hmm. so i will take you in a way wherein you don't have to struggle or hit your head on the wrong wall got it this is what they can do wow that's a very good set of suggestions just to reiterate first you said get to know about it to youtube videos but yes. finding the right video is a key there yes. then second you said once you really connect with it then mm -hmm. watch some movies to see what is the outcome the impact of animation mm -hmm. as a profession mm -hmm. and also a short course of like 5 7 to 10 days or something of that mm -hmm. nature to get a mm -hmm. feel of it and mm -hmm. if you really connect with that then take the next step of getting into like two to three month course. Mm. And once they feel, no, yes, this is where I want to build my career, then you emphasize the importance of having a mentor to fast track mm. because this is a strongly skill driven career option. Yes. And the easier and the quicker you can build the skill, definitely the easier and quicker you can go in the career. So yes. that's a wonderful suggestion. And I'm sure many teenagers who would watch this now or later would be keen to experiment. Now with that, I just want to ask one last question to you. If you have to give just one piece of suggestion or wisdom to parents of teenagers mm -hmm. and one piece of suggestion or wisdom to teenagers, what mm -hmm. would that be? Just a three letter, uh, three word sentence. Mm -hmm. Let them explore. Let them explore. We don't know what's going to happen after 20 years, 10 years. Why to be so hard? They are just 16, 17, 18, 20. What, what's the big deal? Hey, what's the big deal? Do you want your kids to do something now in hurry and then become stagnant at a life? And generally, we see people getting stagnant in midway. Because it was not started with a thought process. Mm -hmm. So they will run. But at a point, the water won't move. Just the way we don't move. And that's the time when the frustration comes in. And that is the call wherein we decide, no, this was not something which I was meant to do. Mm -hmm. So that is why I would request parents to let them explore. That's not the age where they need to be punished or more stressed out. You are not clearing exam. This and there are a lot many opportunities apart from something. I also see students when they are not good into studies. I directly say there is a huge opportunity into animation. Mm -hmm. Right. If we are not good into studies or somehow we are not able to do the studies. So mm -hmm. in my case, I was among the toppers in school. Mm -hmm. But because something happened which did not allow me to study. Mm -hmm. So my grades got down into high school. Mm -hmm. And I had to leave the education entirely. Mm -hmm. So because I left the education, animation gave me a support. Mm -hmm. So this can be a story of anybody. Mm -hmm. But I gave a thought of letting it explore. Mm -hmm. I gave a thought of let's go and check what is there inside. That is when I connected. If I would have said, I would have heard to the people around me, everybody told me it's not a good career because at that time it was not good. It was just the starting of animation in India. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just started around five years down the line when I started, five, six years, seven years maybe. So let them explore, let them try, learn new things, experiment new things. And that is when uh, they can actually do something magical. Yeah, that's very powerful to all the parents and that's what even we say and how we have designed our program as well because mm -hmm. teenagers need to explore and that is also one of the intent of having this conversation with professionals because mm -hmm. teenagers get to know about different professions uh, mm -hmm. in a proper way from experts so that they are able to explore. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really a great message and I'm sure it would at least help a few parents rethink how they are approaching. But mm. now let's come to the second part of my question. What would you share with the teenagers? In in what sense? Uh, this like question? from their career planning perspective. Okay, so if they need to plan their career, what I would share? Yes. Okay. So I would share the way I did. I did it. It's all from experience. Mm. What I did, the way my journey had been, it was all experience. Mm. My parents did not have the awareness of this uh, consulting or this. 
but when i struggled this thing and i came here now i feel that uh, there is an option of consulting wherein it can help fast track the things it can help get more clarity on what we need to do what we see the important thing is not in doing the right thing mm -hmm. the importance is more in knowing what no is not the right thing that's true so when we choose something which is not right that is where the whole game falls into the wrong aspect so what i would suggest is they can explore something on their own which builds curiosity for them some domains whether it's animation or any career whatever they feel that okay i want to know about cars i want to know about this machines how can this machine work explore something on that aspect and then consult this i would highly recommend to have a career counseling session wherein you understand your personality you the students understand what their interests are and they can be open with the person and actually share this is what i really enjoy this is what i'm really curious all the time to know about so is there a career in it because if there is a career only the career coach can help you understand the way animation is a career uh -huh. there might be hundreds of students who would love watching animation yeah. but they never knew it's a career uh -huh. so they never chose as a career uh -huh. and also the second thing is students nowadays i feel they are struggling lot with the fear of unknown lot with the fear of unknown i have seen students who want to do animation but just because there is a news ai is because of ai these many layoffs happened so the students say because that happened i am not choosing animation career mm -hmm. that happened now you are starting your career now two years after two three years when you start your working environment when you start your job you don't know what's going to happen at after three years mm -hmm. so suppose if a flood comes in into a city no because it's flooded no i will not go into that city but it's is it going to be flooded the entire life no it's not going to be flooded the entire life water will go off we will work on ourselves we will get back on the things on track and everybody will start working so yes. same way you don't know what is next what we see is far and then we get worried about it and we don't even start Um, so whatever happened happens for good even if there are uh, layoffs it happened it is a part of the journey it will happen and that is where if you are a part of that layoff maybe it's your time to think what i need to do next that is a signal for thinking more beyond what we did the entire days till then yes and i would say this message is relevant to both teenagers and their parents because more than the teenagers parents tend to feel oh there's lot of layoff happening what is my child's future going to look like and all those things so your answer is going to be definitely helpful to parents as well mm -hmm. and what i want to also add on to that is like many parents they come and ask us like like how can you help find my children passion I mean finding your children's passion is not a one word answer that you can answer mm -hmm. okay he would be passionate about animation or he would be passionate about research mm -hmm. it's to a set of experiences that they need to understand if this is what they really enjoy doing mm -hmm. and to answer that they need to first get exposed to those experiences mm -hmm. so without doing anything at the time of after standard 10 when they have to choose the stream mm -hmm. Mm. that is when parents start thinking about okay what's my child's passion interest let's mm. choose accordingly mm. but that's something we are trying to change we are trying to sensitize and help parents understand give them different exposure awareness mm. and they have the maturity to choose if they know about it so that's what i want to just add on to it mm. i think with that i have covered all the questions and i have to say it was very very engaging interactive and lot of story based i can see you took different examples of water flowing floods which is also coming from your experience of animation where i have you... one more experience i have one more story 
I sure, think, sure. I think this will connect the most uh, with the parents having the thought, what my child's future will look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, what my child's future will look like. So here's an example. Suppose you love a destination. Suppose it's the north side. Suppose Ladakh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you love the place. You mm -hmm. want to go there. Mm -hmm. That is something which you are seeing in your head. Wow, how beautiful is it? Mm -hmm. same way if you are seeing your child's future it's really beautiful it's really beautiful 10 years down the line but what if I say you know that can you actually see can you actually give the entire description of how your journey will start from home what challenges you will face in midway mm -hmm. whom you will meet on the airport expectedly or unexpectedly can you give the entire details of the journey to reach that place where you want to go? Mm. It won't happen. I don't know whether I'll get a taxi or not. I don't know whether I'll get the flight on time or not. So does that mean I should not have a goal of reaching to Ladakh? Does that mean I should? No, no. That Let's cancel it out because I, I'm not, not going to get taxi. Let's cancel it out because the flights always delay. Same way, if you are having some future vision of this is how my future will look like, my kid's future will look like, you cannot plan everything. Yes. You cannot plan, okay, now he'll do this, this. Now tomorrow he'll go to school, then he'll meet some person on the road. We cannot predict that. Mm -hmm. It is all in our head. We need to learn something beyond education, which is the power of our mind. Yes. The power of the subconscious mind, wherein we can actually make things happen what we want to make it happen. So the question is not whether he will be successful in this or not. The question is only what do they really want? How do they approach it? That's it. What you want, you're going to get that. Got it. You just need to decide you want to go to Ladakh and just be open. Whatever is going to happen in my journey, I will make sure I'll keep moving. But the enjoyment will be when I reach the destination. Yeah, actually, that reminds me of a very powerful saying, which is success is not the destination. Success is the journey. Basically, yes. it's like how you approach the journey mm. will, is, is going to determine whether you're successful or not. So therefore, success is a journey and very powerful story. Thanks again for sharing that. I can say a lot of stories from an animation expert because you put things to perspective, to your imagination. I can clearly see that in this conversation. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm sure it was an insightful conversation to parents and teenagers yes. as well. So thank you so much for taking time. Uh, and I'm sure this would help many teenagers to decide at least to get an idea of how they can explore getting that exposure and experience in animation so that they can decide if that's what they want to pursue as a career. I think if that happens, we have met the objective of this session. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, Navesh, for your time, for your insights and your wonderful stories. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just the last uh, line for all the parents or as well as you can say the kids or anybody who is watching this episode is if at all what we want happens on that same moment just think about that how my future will look like I want to achieve that you achieved it what's next I give you everything what you wanted what's next the fun the excitement the life won't exist the way we are actually living it so that is why I enjoy the process and let it happen. Let it happen. Let the things unfold. Just decide your goals and keep working on it. Yes, definitely. So with that, we'll wrap up this episode of Teens Career Telescope. Uh, if you really like this conversation and if you'd like to cover any specific career in our discussion, please put it in the comments or send a message to us. We will cover that profession in the upcoming episodes. And I thanks, uh, I thank Navesh once again for taking thank time, thank for you. giving this opportunity for us to interact and mm -hmm. share about animation to our parents, teenagers and viewers. Thank you so much, Navesh. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to expand the reach to more people, to more students who can get some insights and actually 
get into the right direction of their life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Okay.